So you guys loved when I built McDonald's in Bloxburg. So in today's video, we're going to be building KFC in Bloxburg. And then I'm going to be inviting all my subscribers to come to the opening. So if you want a chance to be in a future video, literally all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, the thing is, I don't want this KFC like too similar to my McDonald's. I have like a little idea of what I want to do, but um, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I will cry myself to sleep. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Okay, Um. anyway. Also, the one thing that I kind of messed up on with the mcdonald's is i made the kitchen way too small you guys remember my mcdonald's kitchen you had to jump over like a chair to serve the people at the window yeah i didn't add a board guys this is an actual flop italic is literally cutting the fries on the only counter we have which is behind the computer it was a total flop so we're definitely not going to do that this is how big the kitchen's going to be this time this little two by four is going to be the front desk so where you order your food and yes of course we are making this kfc two story oh i should start a series on my channel where i build or like fast food chains that would actually be pretty iconic okay i'm thinking this part can be two story and we'll leave this part one story so just to kind of break it up a little bit oh my god i just came up with a brilliant idea what if we make this like a balcony that would be pretty cool i've also hired a few of you guys to work at the kfc with me so this time it won't just be me and one person you and i both know how that ended up like it was a total flop there was people breaking into my mcdonald's there was absolute chaos so this time i am going to be hiring a few of you guys okay now the two things we need at the kfc building is of course the kfc logo and the iconic photos of colonel sanders okay but before i add decals i actually need to color everything so i can see like what goes where and of course the two iconic colors of kfc are red and white but because this is like a modern mcdonald's i think we're going to incorporate lots of woods as well so i'm thinking at the front here can be like this nice dark wood color i don't know why it just gives me a nice modern vibe okay as for the kfc logo we could build like a kfc out of basic shapes but y'all but do you guys remember when i tried to build the letter m no, we're not gonna do that no ma'am we are going to add decals because one i'm lazy okay so if we go kfc in decals what is this that is not kfc why does that come up <laughs> what is this instead of colonel sanders we should just put this photo at the top this cat reminds me of salem okay the second thing we need is like the kfc science so hopefully this works oh <gasps> it does muhaha <laughs> Although my only problem is, is that I can't put decals on the roof. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Apparently I can. Okay, so obviously we need like the KFC sign up here. And then where can Colonel Sanders go? You know what Colonel Sanders reminds me of? My old principal at my uh, high school. Everyone used to call him Colonel Sanders because he looked exactly like Colonel Sanders. Like the resemblance was just uncanny. So every modern KFC has these pillars at the front. So we're definitely going to incorporate these. You know how Macca's has like a slogan that like, na 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 na. I'm loving it. What's KFC's? I'm sure KFC has one. KFC theme song. What is it? Okay, that's definitely not it. <laughs> what was that? I think we're just gonna use modern windows like we did in our McDonald's, but make these bigger. Okay, now we can fit two extra windows down here. Also, the reason I added pillars is because I can have like a little door here. I should probably make the doors bigger because the last time I invited you guys to my restaurant opening, you guys went crazy. Actually, instead of white here, what if we make this black? Oh, okay, yeah, I think black looks better. And of course, we need to add like a little section at the front, and then finally our dry through hopefully this drive through is more successful today and hopefully people don't end up breaking through my kfc okay so i'm gonna put a modern panel fence here and then underneath this fence we're going to put a grand hedge i don't think any fast food chain can be at kfc chips also let me know in the comments what your favorite fast food chain restaurant is so then i can have inspiration as to what to build next oh my gosh i nearly forgot but we're also gonna add windows down here okay so far this kfc is actually looking so good i think we're just gonna put two outdoor chairs at the front here we're gonna keep it very simple because i want the majority of the seating to be on the inside so then that can like encourage people to go in but we will make these outdoor or table and chairs like kfc themed so white and red okay we can put beautiful colonel sanders face right there did i just call colonel sanders beautiful okay now because the second story has a balcony we need to add a commercial sliding door and then finally a railing because we don't want people falling off my kfc building do we that is just a lawsuit waiting to happen also i'm thinking we're gonna add another flat roof up here for the balcony and it'll end up looking something like this oh my gosh i don't even build houses this good okay now that the outside's done we can start working on the inside and thankfully 
we have room to add a massive kitchen. Also, I feel like KFC kitchens have these checkered tiles. And for the walls, we're just going to keep them as simple as possible. So red, white, and then some wood for like a modern touch. I need to figure out where the stairs are going to go. I think we're just going to use these floating stairs. Instead of making this one big floor, we're going to leave a little gap at the front so it can kind of be like a balcony into the first floor. You'll see. Probably like Alaska, girl, what are you talking about? So when you walk in, you can see the second floor, which is like the perfect way to add a chandelier that hangs into the first floor. Look at this. Look at this person spying on me. Girl, I see you. She thinks she's slick. Okay, now first thing we need to add on the inside is those little robot things. I, I still don't know what they're called. All I know is that you order your food from them. Italic said you better add a counter this time, you rat. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot to add a counter in my kitchen. Okay, we've got two little order machines just in case you don't want to order at the window. Oh, speaking of windows, I actually forgot to add the drive through window. And one of you guys told me to add two of them. So apparently, I need one here for people to take their orders and then one on this side for them to actually get their orders and of course we need a door here that says staff only i think that's looking good now we can start working on the chairs and the tables so i think at the front here i want to have like a booth and you know what all these tables kind of suck so i'm gonna make my own <laughs> hopefully i can just copy it because that would save me so much time and all i'm doing to create this is putting three cubes at the bottom and then another cube up the top and hopefully i will do it right this is really nerve-wracking talik is just looking at me <laughs> i'm scared yeah look she's dancing she knows I can see her. Okay, so for these front tables, we're gonna put like three rustic chairs like this. And then at the back here, we're gonna have two modern armchairs. I'm not gonna lie, I think this KFC is gonna turn out better than the McDonald's. Also, to make these tables more lifelike, I'm just gonna put the chairs kind of a little bit more like messy. That way it looks more lived in. Because <laughs> let's be honest, a KFC's chairs is usually like that. You know what? Hopefully people sit in the chairs this time. I work so hard on these chairs just for no one to sit in them. You know how sad I was? We might put some pillars here to just give them some more privacy. And then back here, I'm thinking we can have like the long chairs. And for this, I'm going to use transitional tables. Also for the chairs, I'm literally just going to use simplicity stools because they don't take up much room. Also, I feel like we need more windows down here. Right now, it's like super dark. And then a few of these industrial pendants to kind of mix it up. Wait, should we put a pizza box on one of the tables? <laughs> I don't even know if KFC sells pizza. I don't want to add too many chairs and tables over here because obviously this is where people are going to be ordering their food. But we can add a few benches at the window. I feel like that could potentially look really cute. Why is there like no good table options? It stressed me out. You know what guys, we're just gonna have to make my own coffee table again. And then for the chairs, we can use these formed metal stools. When I open my KFC, y'all all better be using my chairs. You know what we're forgetting on these tables? Trays and like bags. Like in this bag, we can have our nuggets. This bag, we can have like a burger. Okay, so far the downstairs is actually looking so cute. I'm pretty sure my workers are very excited to start working here. Oh, these lights on the pillars are so cute. Wait, I just realized I can copy and paste them instead of adding them every single time. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Da, 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 da. No, babe, that's the McDonald's theme song, you idiot. <gasps> Wait, look how sick these LED lights look inside of the wall. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, the last thing I'm going to add downstairs is just one more little seating option. So I think we're just going to have like a round table right here. And then for the chairs, we're just going to use contemporary dining chairs. So now we can start working on the kitchen, which is back here. Now, luckily for me, we have lots of room to add a nice nice big kitchen and we're just going to use commercial appliances so a commercial fridge why is that seven thousand dollars for a fridge i'm sorry no I don't care that I have $1.2 million. I refuse to buy a fridge for $7,000 when I can buy one for $1,200 and I'll do the same job. But yeah, suck on that commercial fridge. Trying to scam me. I don't think so. Okay, so the cashier register obviously needs a cash register. Duh. And then we can have like a beverage fridge underneath here in case someone wants a drink. I don't know if KFC sells ice cream, but we'll just put the ice cream machine here because guess what? KFC's ice cream machine actually never breaks. Okay, so the cashier register is done. Now we can just start working on the kitchen. Obviously, this kitchen is much bigger than the McDonald's one, thankfully. So we've got lots of counter space and we also need lots of commercial fries. So I'm thinking four. Also, this large commercial oven, I think you can only use one of them. So it's actually such a scam. So we're just going to use these pro chef ovens and they actually end up cheaper. And then a few stoves, of course. Oh, we can add these pans up the top. That's pretty cool. Lots of sticky notes around the walls because fast food chains, they do be forgetting your orders. We're going to have to have lots of <laughs> sticky notes to remind them. Oh, we can also have like a few of these commercial tray racks. You know what we're forgetting? Sinks. 
hello. Yeah, all my workers are already here and I'm not even done the building. Right, no pressure, no pressure. Okay, this part of the kitchen's done. Now we just need to do like the two windows. So I'm just gonna give them a fancy office chair with their own computer and there you go. Actually, I feel like they might need some privacy here from the chefs. Okay, and the last thing we need to add to these windows is of course privacy blinds. Because we both know how crazy everyone went before. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at my workers at the front. <laughs> I feel so bad making them wait. Okay, so downstairs is done. Now we just have to do the upstairs area. I think the first thing we're gonna do is outside because that's pretty easy. So for the outside, we're literally just gonna put like two picnic tables. My KFC workers are going a bit crazy right now. Scrum diddly yum yum a purr purr. <laughs> I'm sorry. The good thing with the upstairs area is most of it's just copying the things downstairs. Okay, there we go. We've got the balcony done. Now we can just do up here. Oh my god, wait, you know what I realized we're forgetting? A bathroom. Stop. How are people gonna use the toilet after they've had a Kentucky fried chicken? Okay, so along this rail, we're gonna have some seating options. Hopefully that's enough seats. And then over here, we can have a booth. There's actually these reclining leather chairs. And if this works, which it better, I'm gonna be so excited. Okay, we're gonna do something like this. And then we're gonna copy my custom made table and put it here. With like a little TV here in case people wanna watch some TV. And then finally, a nice little chandelier. And oh my God, that looks beautiful. Actually, instead of white, I'm thinking we can have red lounges. Oh yeah, that looks so good. They're all watching me, I'm scared. I'm gonna get some Nubis superiors up in here. <laughs> Just place a bunch of Nubis superiors. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine I disconnected. And then the last thing in this KFC is obviously the toilet. Toilets are actually so easy. All we need is like a toilet, a sink, and a mirror. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Okay, the KFC is done and it comes to a total of 158,000. So it is time to open it to the public. But first, here are my workers. I'm ready to make some chicken. Oh my gosh, look at these outfits. It's finger licking good. Is, is this John? I knew this was John. Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, look at this outfit. Okay, these outfits are so cute. Fun fact. Okay, now get inside before I fire you all. Okay, get inside my workers. Okay, this is how the outside of the KFC turned out. I honestly am obsessed with it. I think it turned out so much better than McDonald's. So obviously you walk in here. I'm actually going to lock the doors before I invite everyone on. So you can order here. We have lots of seating options, clearly. And of course, back here, we've got the staff only. So we've got the cash registers. We've got the kitchen. Oh my gosh, guys, bro, these KFC workers are good. Like what? They've literally been here for like 50 seconds and look at all the stuff they have ready. Oh my Lord. Okay, so all our workers I think are ready. We've got two people working at the windows. So that's pretty good. Also, the good thing is you can also shut these windows just in case some crazy people come to our KFC, which honestly I am expecting. And then lastly, we have the upstairs area. Now, honestly, this upstairs area is so cozy. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. And then of course we just got the bathroom, pretty simple and then the balcony out here. So, so with that being said, let's invite everyone on the server. Are you guys ready? He's ready. I don't know about the rest of them though. <laughs> Aman is not ready. What do we do if people break in? Listen, if people break in, they become the chicken. Got it? I don't want to see no break in today's people. Okay, I've invited people on. Y'all, this chicken is ready. It's going to get burnt if you don't take it out. Okay, our drive through workers are ready. They're scared, but they are ready. Our chefs are doing an amazing job. I don't really know what this chicken's doing. Oh my gosh, here comes the chaos. Everyone is here. Oh my gosh. Okay, firstly, I have to lock these doors. Oh my gosh. People are starting to arrive at my KFC. I don't think my workers are ready for this, guys, because I'm definitely not ready for this. I have no words. Okay, well, it is time. Welcome to KFC. Come in. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my lord. Okay, I told him to make a line. <laughs> okay, so we've got a massive line. What on earth? What is that? Oh my lord, get out of the kitchen. Sorry, what's your get out of my kitchen. Who is this child? You will become the KFC in a minute. <laughs> There's nobody at drive through <laughs> I'm so lonely. Oh my god, look at these people breaking in. Finally, we have someone at the window. So hi, what can I get you? Uno chicken drumstick with a water. Hey, that person wanted a chicken drumstick with a water. So actually, is that even chicken? I think that's turkey. Hey, you, get get off. Stop dancing on my food. Excuse me. This person is doing the splits on my counter. That will not be tolerated. Get out of here. Y'all, I think we have a Karen at the door. Let me in, please. Okay, that person wanted chicken, I think, and they also wanted water, so I have to get some water from the fridge. Okay, we have our water and our chicken. Okay, here you go. Here is your chicken and water. Okay, thank you for coming to KFC. Look at this line. Look at this line. How on earth are we going to serve all these people? Look at all these people. We have some very, very 
interesting people in the line today. But you know what? I appreciate them all lining up. Okay, I'm just gonna give random people in the line money because I feel bad for making them wait. See, this person, they can get 10k. Okay, let's see what's going on upstairs because I don't think there's anyone up here. Apparently there's Mario dancing on the carts. Very interesting. Downstairs is just chaotic. You know what? I agree. I actually do not want to go downstairs. Oh my god, beautiful build as always. The queen knows how to build. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna give her 10k. You know what? Here, take 10k. She is so sweet. <gasps> Finally, we have someone on the mopad. Okay, you know what? Considering there's like 75 people on this game, the line's actually pretty organized. Like, look how organized this line is. Oh my god, I need to take a dump. <laughs> this poor person has been waiting for like 20 minutes. Get out of my way or I'll bark. Okay, let's see how the front counter's doing. I want to speak with your manager. Oh my gosh. I still don't have my Big Mac. <laughs> my poor workers. <laughs> look. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Now I'm panicking. Yep. Don't panic. No, I am because I'm going to lose my job. Okay, poor John looks so stressed. What about my window workers? Oh my gosh, you know what? The people at the window are actually doing pretty good. Welcome to KFC. Can I take your order? I ordered a chicken nugget and apple sauce. <laughs> She's like, girl, I do not remember you ordering that. See, this is what I wanted. I wanted a nice, peaceful KFC first day opening. But instead, you know what we get? We get this. Save the chickens. Oh my gosh, no chicken harm. <gasps> oh my god, wait, they're having a protest at the front. I need to stop this. Save the chickens. Oh my god, okay, okay. I have to tell my workers that we might pre- What is happening? Y'all, someone give this chicken an exorcism. Okay, I need to tell the back workers that we might be facing a protest. Workers, gather, I have news. There is currently a protest going on at the front. Yes, there is a protest. And we need to stop the protest or we're going to lose business. This KFC is going to shut down. Oh my god, guys, we can talk about this, okay? It's gotten out of control. I cannot- I, I don't know what's happening. Guys, we will give you free chicken if you stop this. You can't offer them chicken, they're vegan. <laughs> what do you want? You alright? Would no, you... I'm not all right. <laughs> Eating a poor, helpless chicken. Oh. I'm a vegan. I've taken the choice. I have. Yeah, yeah and he's a I... vegan as well on a Wednesday. Then go away from a KFC. Do not even. <laughs> now they're definitely going to sue us. Okay, I have a way to get rid of these protesters. Is it ethical? Probably not. Okay, protesters, please listen to me. I have heard you and I understand your concerns. So please would all protesters follow me. Okay, follow me, follow me. Yeah, follow me, come in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, good news is we have officially trapped all the protesters. Now that we've got all the protesters gone, we can start working on our KFC business. Okay guys, the bad news is I think we have officially ran out of chicken. Okay, I think I should make a speech considering what happened at KFC today. Okay. I have a speech. Due to recent protests and my own workers plotting against me. Yes, I'm looking at you, Italic. I know you were part of these protests. Due to these outbursts, unfortunately, I will be having to close KFC. I know, I know. It's 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 not it's not the best news. <laughs> not someone saying sorry, sorry, prayers. Okay, so that was me building KFC in Bloxburg and inviting all of you guys to the opening. I thought McDonald's was chaotic, but oh my god, was I wrong. KFC was the most chaotic restaurant opening. I have ever done in my life. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.